Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. I'm out here uh, getting ready for some more cold weather. And uh, let's see what's going on. It looks like I've got a pillow garden out here or something. I've got most everything is covered up or quite a bit of it. We've got some 26 degree weather coming uh, in a few few days. Uh, you know, it's January 17th. I normally say through to the middle of February is our coldest time, but when, when they say 26, a lot of times we get down to 24 and that won't kill these strawberries, but what it's been doing is it's keeping them from flowering. Now, normally I wouldn't be concerned with it, but all the other ones are flowering that we have covered up. So, uh, and we get a few strawberries, which it'll start and help the the early spring season to come on and, and they'll be bearing good. But we want to get these ones uh, doing this. This was some new rows. A lot of them's, uh, you can see the the leaves that are, are turning red and stuff. Those are dying. We have a few that we moved in here that that have died. So uh, we'll end up, uh, we've got some extra plants and we'll end up fixing those later on. But what we're doing right now, and it's, it's going to be about uh, four days, three days before the the really cold temperatures start so we're gonna go ahead and get this row cover on now this row cover normally i like to buy uh 250 or 500 foot row 500 is usually best it's not as long and they kind of fold in half so it's the same diameter but it's shorter because it's folded in half but now the outfit i get it from the shade cloth store which really got it cheap and the shipping's cheap uh you got about a thousand foot, which for me that's not a problem because I need it about that much. But I'd like to be able to handle it better. I'll just use a piece of conduit here uh, as a spool and hold one in, set one in on my wagon, and my uh, wife will pull it on out, and we'll we'll fix these up. But I wanted to to just kind of do a little video on this. So you know to prepare ahead of time. Now I have some videos on uh, ground protection or, or row cover and making the hoops and making landscape staples to hold it down and stuff like that. And uh, they're, they're really great videos. Now I'm going to tell you a trick. When you use your landscape staples uh, that, you, that you make, now the tendency would be to, to straighten them real straight and put them in. But... If you put these in the ground where they're pinched a little bit like that, and when they go in, what happens is they spread out this way and they hold better in strong winds. We had very little, uh, and we've had some, uh, as they said, up 25, but it felt more like 35, maybe even 40 mile an hour gusts out here. And we only had one that loosened up on, on the sides. And once we restapled it, made sure they were in there like that. Uh, it stayed in, so uh, that might be a little trick that's helpful if you have the problem like me where you're kind of in higher elevation uh, in the area. Uh, not not to say we're just like 550 feet above sea level, but we're just one of the highest points right here in our area. So uh, you catch a lot more wind like that. You don't have, uh, it, you know, it's not blocked from being in some, some lower area. But anyway, I hope that's helpful. I'm going to get these covered and, uh, and see if I can't goof around a little bit and get everything done. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe, hit the bell button, give it a thumbs up, and happy gardening.